Kenny, many congratulations. That's a vital win tonight, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think um, everyone showed we did our best. We come up here to do what we, we needed to do and we got the three points, which is what we wanted. So it's good. Was there anything different in the way you approached the way you played from when you played Stoke a couple of weeks ago? Uh, we approached it knowing that we sort of owed them one. They obviously turned us over 4-2 at, at the Britannia Stadium and I think we all had that in the back of our minds. So we come with that as a motivation, really. Trina, it was a real top of the table clash in many ways, wasn't it? There's was no quarter asked or given. It was really played hard and tough, wasn't it? Yeah, proper physical battle. That's what you expect from Stoke all the time. Physical team. Um, they give it us when we when we played them two weeks ago. I think we wanted to get back at them from that. I don't think we, we really give them a game then. Um, and we got our pay back today. <laughs> but it's a result like this, though, against a team which, that's... That was going for its sixth win on the trot. That's going to give the team loads of confidence, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Stoke was unbeaten until they come here, so you know, hopefully we've knocked them off their little pedestal, and um, we can keep our little run going. And Caddy, if Stoke had won tonight, the gap would have been seven points at the top. So it was going to make it extra imperative that you won tonight, just to make sure the gap didn't get too big. Well, our aim is to to take each game as it goes and, and win each game as it comes, and you know battle for, for that game and that's what we did tonight so I don't think it was imperative but I think we came here did our job and we got our three points which are taken game by game so yeah but it, your second goal was probably the turning point in the game wasn't it it was on a real knife edge up until that until Abby got that second goal uh, yeah I don't, I'm not going to count mine as a goal I think it, it hit me more than <laughs> anything but um but yeah it settled us and and we got the three points but Abby impressed all night didn't you her pace up front is a, a real asset for your team isn't it and a real outlet She's been a really, really good signing, really good signing. Her work rate is non-stop, not in, not in games, just in, in training generally. She brings it to a game. What you see in a game is what you get at training. She's non-stop. She'll run right, left, straight at you, and she won't she won't stop until she, she gets that ball, she gets what she wants. It's a really, really positive signing. She's done really well. You should just mention the defence as well, Trina. Only one goal conceded against a good attack that's been scoring a lot of goals. Uh, it was a good, def solid defensive performance, wasn't it, overall? Yeah, I'd say so. I think it shows what our, we've got a strong defence. You know, I mean, we're missing one of our key key defenders at the minute due to injury. I think that shows, you know, that we've got a strong defence to come in and, and, and still hold it down and only concede one goal. So, yeah. Katie, I think we will mention the last goal. <laughs> Through one goal. I mean, uh, those are unstoppable, aren't they? There's a sort of goal to score. Well, ask a striker. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, I think um, I've seen there was, a, there was a player a little bit you know, late going out, so I stayed on side of the tuna, obviously spotted it, and uh, the rest just it just sort of flowed. It hit me, and the look of the bounce, which I think we deserve a little bit of luck, because it's normally against us, so yeah, yeah. we'll take yeah, that. We'll take it. <laughs> That's why, did you feel then that you, you had the game in your hands once you got the third one? No, never, never, because anything can happen. We've seen it at um, Bradford a couple of weeks ago, we, you know, it was 3 0 up, and then oh. that scored two quite late on. So, no, not really, but it, it settled us. Um, but we still had a, lot, had a lot of work to do, a lot of work. Yeah. And Trina, another tough game coming up on Saturday away to Newcastle. They started the season well themselves. Are you expecting another tough challenge up there? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a proper battle going on in the, in the league, in our league table. I mean, it's changed. The, the leaders have changed how many times. You know, every, everybody's battling, everybody's in there. I think it's, it's quite close as well with the points. So, you know, I mean, we'll take, we'll take that one when it comes, so our next game up. Can you see it staying like that all season? The leadership could change hands many times during the course of the season. Because, with no disrespect meant, but there's no one outstanding team, is there, this year? There's no Sheffield or Coventry in the league. It's, the rest are uh, very, very closely matched. Yeah, I'd say. Everybody's level pegging. It's, it's, it's out there to be won. And I think everybody wants to go for it. You know, Sheffield have run away with it how many seasons on the track, so they've gone now. You know, everyone wants to make their states in the league. Kelly, we spoke just before the season started and you said you were, you were going for the league, you are going for everything. You must be pleased with the way though, that things have started so far. Yeah, we've had a good start, we've had a good start. But like I say, we take each game as it comes and that's what we've done tonight. And it's another game under our belts. We've got youngsters getting another 90 minutes under our belt. Our centre-half, like I said, we've got one centre-half out. She's come in, she's 16 mm. and she's started, she's been thrown in and she's been absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, we take every game as it comes and, and we're doing really, really well. It's just a case of hanging in there for now, is it? And perhaps make the run after Christmas. Yeah, I wouldn't say hanging in there. Just take game by game and, and see how it goes. But I think we've definitely got a positive uh, buzz around around the club at the minute. And, and I think that's going to just sort of flow on for the rest of the season. 
but it's certainly positive and some really happy phases at the final whistle. Well played tonight, both of you. Congratulations on a really good win and a really good game to watch. Thank we you. wish you the very best of luck from here, of course, and a tough game against Newcastle on Sunday. Thanks ever so much for taking the time and coming and talking to us as well. Thank Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot.